question how would you filter null values or rows in the data flow task so what they are asking they are getting some data that has null inside uh, those uh, data points and uh, they want to filter that they do not they do not want to load that how we would do that let's go to ssdt or bids whatever you have according to the version installed on your system bring the data flow task as we are reading the data from some source and then we need to filter that by using some transformation in this case what we will be using we will be using OLEDB source as I'm going to read the data from uh, my SQL server table let's uh, make this one a little big so we can see that um, now select the, uh, the table I, I will always recommend writing a query and SQL command but in this case uh, it's a demo and doesn't have a whole lot of records and I don't want to um, you know write the time, waste the time here just the selecting queries so I select the table go to columns and then uh, we see preview the data so what I see here I have address column and th that has one uh, null value so any anything uh, in the address column uh, if that is null I want to redirect that I do not want to load in my destination so that's what we need to do if uh, we are using OLEDB source or uh, to connect to SQL Server or we are uh, using any relational databases we can always write a query and say where its uh, address is not null but this scenario is more applicable where you are reading data from a flat file, excel file, xml file and uh, you cannot write the query to filter those records hit ok now bring the conditional split transformation and we will be writing expressions inside the conditional split to split the incoming rows into multiple outputs so what we are going to do we want to check if the address column or data point is null so we can use the null function here we can use is null right here and we have to bring the address column inside so is null function is going to check if the value is null it is going to be true so that that's where it will redirect this row to the this uh, output so let's name this one to the null output and anything that is not true that will be going to the default output we can call it not null output now hit ok and let's bring a multicast here just for the test purpose so we can um, put the data view between them and show you what we are getting on, on the output side so let's connect this one we say in, uh, null output on the multicast and then uh, not null on the multicast one let's put data viewer here then put data viewer for the not null side and let's run our SSIS package now only one record should be going to the null output as uh, address as only one uh, uh, data point that has null the rest of that should be going to the not null the package is running so what we see here we see two data viewers one with null and one with not null so you can see here the address is null and uh, it is redirected to the in, uh, null output and any other records which are not null they are redirected or um, uh, branched out uh, to the not null output of uh, condition split so that's how you can use a conditional split to filter the data inside the data flow and if you are getting any null values you can redirect the and uh, write maybe you want to write them to the flat file or maybe some uh, other table or just ignore them if you just want to ignore them you can you don't have to put anything but you will always use the other part which has the good records thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video